Holy smokes, it might have worked. Where are we though? Take a shower. Of the Crystal Palace, that big ass space station in which you mere mortals will never set foot. Now, they say the Crystal Palace has the most expensive casinos, the most beautiful women, and some damn breathtaking views, but that's what they say about Night City. Heaven on Earth, heaven in orbit. What's the difference to stop eating dirt sniffers like us? One thing though, better find yourselves a nice high hill to go palace. Why so many candles? <laughs> what the? Okay, so this is the same, I guess, uh, author from the previous one. Oh no, this is this the same thing? Everyone's standing, grieving, fainting. One must be true and one must die. Death gone silent, rushes to my head. Comprehension is dead. How I loathe to become accustomed to this grave. To be what I once was, that is all I crave. City's lower reaches. Life has screwed you over yet again. Where is this? Whoa. Cool. Device. Yellow Jacket Warrior KO Combat? What the hell? The Valor Mission, back to square one. Is this new? No. What the hell? Is... Oh, what? Is that... Is... Oh! What? No way! I didn't want to wake you. That's awesome. For a few reasons. <coughs> Fuck. Tell me that we're not still having those issues. Get dressed, optional. <laughs> Are we getting a happily ever after kind of thing here? Oh God. Again. Ooh, let's wear the retro thrusters. Maybe we should wear V's stuff. Yeah, let's wear all let's wear all V's stuff right now. Look at this place. Oh my god. Not okay. Nothing's okay. Fuck. Pan Am. I need air. What? What? So I don't know what 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 the time frame is here. I don't know what the time frame is between what just happened and now. Oh my god. Got a whole arsenal. Let's see what's on here. Little gig from V to Emmerich. This is the guy who's at uh, Afterlife all the time. 
Uh, pulled every last string we had, but I think it worked. Got the fuel, grabbed an orbital air tanker, wiped it from the records. They'll notice eventually, but should be too late by then, so don't worry about the transport. Mr. B2V, running out of time for obvious reasons. A decision, please, if only because my patience is wearing thin. So V, what will it be? Will I be pleasantly surprised or disappointed once again? I'm in, meet at afterlife. From clouds to V, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you deserve a breath of fresh air. At clouds, we know how exhausting big city life can be, but we also know how to make a little heaven on earth for our clients. See what awaits you here in this garden of unearthly delights created specially for you. Special offer for VIP customers. For subscribers only, we offer a fully customized story-based relationship experience, steamy love affair, roller coaster romance, a one-night joyride, a serene, emotionally stable partnership where you finally feel seen and heard. Choose your story, select your doll, and set off on your adventure at Clouds. And Miss Green's birthday. Howdy, neighbor. Just a little reminder here that Miss Green's birthday is coming up. She's always taken care of the building for years now, and as always, we're pitching in for a little gift for her. The previous occupant of your unit wasn't too enthusiastic about giving, but here's hoping you'll bring a change to that. Just send what you can to my account by next week. Have a nice day. Whose place is this? Is this... I don't think this is Peralos' place, is it? Unless we did major renos. I know one thing. This fucking city. I will not miss it. I really can't understand it. After all that happened in Makoshi, you feel no need to leave this shithole? Just... leave. Run and never look back. Run away with me. Oh, cool. Hmm. We talked about this. You know I got unfinished biz here. One more job to take care of. What job? So what? You also have everyone at the afterlife eating out of your hand. You don't need any more jobs. You have it all. Shit. Just open your eyes. I guess we maybe assumed Admiral, Rogue's position. You sure? Because all includes you, Pan Am. Stay here with me. I can't. They are my clan. My family. My responsibility. And yet you ask me to choose. Why, V? For what? Hmm. What would it change if I did leave with you? I only got a few months left anyway. It would be a few months among people you care about. People who care about you. She's got a point. Unless... Unless that's your point. You think the end could be easier? If you were alone? You know that's not true. I know this, V. Tomorrow I will be gone. We're breaking camp. We'll leave at dawn. Hmm. Don't want to lose you, but I can't leave. I can't live or think any other way. Well, you know, I always set my radio to Stanley. Will I hear about you? You can bet on it. Fuck. I so detest goodbyes. Oh. I had a saying in my clan. No goodbyes. Only roads that four can converge. Nomads say all sorts of shit. <laughs> Speaking of which, yeah. you still owe me that story of that guy from Caucasus. One who rode in your trunk. I'll tell you. Someday. Somewhere. If our roads meet again. Till next time. I will remember, B. Always. Damn. Does this say anything in here? It doesn't give us anything.
Just before we leave, I want to see if there's anything around here that might be interesting. Crowley's new security bot line we've read. Guitars. Oh. The Marriage of Heaven and Hell? Don't know that we've read that. The argument. Rintra roars and shakes his fires in the burdened air. Hungry clouds swag on the deep. Once meek and in perilous path, the just man keeps his course along the vale of death. Roses are planted where thorns grow, and on the barren heath sing the honeybees. Then the perilous path was planted in a river and a spring, on every cliff and tomb, and on the bleached bones red clay brought forth, till the villain left the paths of ease to walk in perilous paths and drive the just man into barren climes. Now the sneaking serpent walks in mild humility, and the just man rages in the wilds where lions roam. Rintra roars and shakes his fires in the burdened air. Hungry clouds swag on the deep. As a new heaven is begun, and it is now 33 years since its advent, the eternal hell revives, and lo, Swedenborg is the angel sitting at the tomb. Swedenborg had to do with some of those uh, recent hacking quests. His writings are the linen clo cloths folded up. Now is the dominion of Edom and the return of Adam into the paradise. See Isaiah... Uh, 34 and 35, chap. Uh, without contraries is no progression, attraction and repulsion, reason and energy, love and hate are necessary to human existence. From these contraries springs what the religious call good and evil. Good is the passive that obeys reason. Evil is the act of springing from energy. Good is heaven. Evil is hell. William Blake. I suppose this is not going to happen yet. I don't quite understand what this thing is. Weird. Okay. Like what? I just want to know, like, I need a lot of answers here. Thank you for choosing the Delamain service. <laughs> Where shall we fly today? <laughs> of course. Of course it's Delamain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Should have recognized the little checkerboard pattern. Hang on, need a minute. Oh, cool. Of course. I I think this is basically symbolizing like we've we've made it, we've achieved everything there is possible to achieve here in Night City. From nomad life way outside of this to like a high rise that we call home. We have it all. However, it still seems like we're gonna die. Yeah, see, legend at 100 now. Night City craves another legend and it got one. Who isn't tired of hearing about the great Morgan Blackhand? Well, now there's a new name on everybody's lips. Wonder what Jackie would have to say about that, or Johnny. This isn't just sharing a body anymore, it's sharing a life, or at least whatever's left of Johnny's. The hot date with Rogue and setting up the samurai reunion sure means a lot to the guy. Sometimes these little gestures of friendship make you forget the inevitable. But as long as it all works out, only you'll be left standing at the end. Looking into the sun. Nobody, not Johnny, not all, could have foreseen what went down in Mikoshi. Uh, one legend fades and another is born in this place. How much time does it have? Half a year, half an hour? Who the hell cares? All that matters is that it's time well spent. It's what Johnny would have wanted. Look, these weren't long and happy lives, but who'd want to hear about those anyway? They were lived to the fullest, and that's what they'll be remembered for. The afterlife. Head over there. As you wish. We will be traveling along restricted air corridors. No delays anticipated. Preem. If I may date, you look frightfully fatigued. Was it a difficult night? Difficult few weeks. 
Okay. I'm truly sorry to hear that. The Delamain network is pleased to offer complimentary services that may just be the ideal remedy for your current condition. What's more, I'm delighted to inform you that Delamain has joined forces with Trauma Team. Oh, look at you, Delamain. Wow. With our limited time only safe travels package, you have a full range of medical services available to you at your fingertips. As to any medical aid, a day late and an eddy short for that. I'm afraid I don't understand. You've practically unlimited resources at your disposal. Huh. I'm certain we can find an appropriate solution. Don't worry about it, Del. As you wish. What's going on with Arasaka? And how's the sitch in the city? Here's an item that might interest you. The Arasaka crisis continues. The corporation still teeters. Aggregated media mentions indicate a positively mammoth stain on the corporation's image, as well as financial and political defeat. Secure Good. Your Soul was to be a smashing success for Arasaka. It turned into a horrific curse. They lost all resources related to the program. Mm hmm Promised the rich immortality. Sold them on it. Actually collected engrams and knowledge. A bid for control. For power, I say. Precisely. In any event, it will be some time before Arasaka successfully reorganizes. It seems you, the afterlife, are safe. For now. Get me to the afterlife and floor it. Naturally. I've chosen the optimal route. We'll be arriving shortly. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the stunning views of our fine city. Hmm. Might be the last time I get a look at this place. Do you plan to leave Night City? Not exactly. Or another. In that case, I wish you a swift return home. This city, as certain of my clients note, is a true West Coast gem. <laughs> Thank you for choosing the Delamain service. They also call it Have a, nice day. a metropolis of near paralyzing beauty. Don't doubt it. God, do we take it? Absolutely. The hoarding never ends. Emmerich, hey boss. Client of yours gave word he's on his way. What do I do with him? I'll be there shortly. <laughs> Emmerich calling us boss. He probably hates that. Far, far behind when you begin your journey to the final frontier. Send the word space to 7299 for a chance to win a one week getaway for two at the Crystal Palace. Ten okay, casinos, we had an opportunity to talk about the Crystal Palace with Pen Am, right? So that's, I guess, what this is. If you're looking for a taste of paradise, don't wait a second longer. Hey. Hey, we hey. hey. good? Perfect. The box is ready to wait. In the dead of space. Hey, I did not see this coming where we would be taking control of afterlife. That's cool. You something? My usual. Sure thing. Keep them until something's up. Won't be able to keep it under wraps much longer. Won't have to. Take offs today. Today? Is that a problem? No, no, just. In that case, you're going to need something special. Rogue had this little ritual. Before any big op, she'd knock back a shot of tequila. Silverhand's preferred. Asked her once if it was for luck or whatever. You know what she said? Said it was about remembering. Said that remembering Johnny that way helped her focus on what was important. Anyways, afterlife tradition. I'm going to mix you up one of our specials. Just tell me who we're drinking to. Oh, cool. I think in this situation, we drink to Rogue. Drink it to Rogue. I gotta say, she'd be happy to see you in her box. <laughs> think so? I bet. Remember that first time you asked her for help? She was hard on you, wasn't she? Know what you told me later? She said, he's got that blood. Afterlife blood. He'll make the city his or it'll kill him. Oh, Not cool. 
I think that was why she decided to help you. And well, she was right. <laughs> that she was. Hey, Whalen. Put you Looking back pretty good. Beautifully. Brand shiny new Whalen. <laughs> Look at the oh, holy. Yeah, somehow. Anyway, I had enough of sitting on my ass in the clinic. Feel much better here. Where you can tell everyone about your socket tower heroics. <laughs> you know it. But what you plan to do today, V? I mean, respect. Nothing else will ever come close. Take good care of yourself and good luck. Thanks. Hmm. I want to see if Nyx is back here. No, it's blocked. V. Mr. I've Blue Eyes. This moment to look the latest afterlife legend in the eye. I must say, I moved. Happy not to disappoint. Sit, sit. Mr. Blue Eyes, uh, I want to say that we, was he the guy that was, uh, on that like balcony when we were talking to Perales? Or am I completely misremembering that? Remember that guy we tried to scan, we tried to find the balcony, couldn't actually reach the balcony, but we scanned him. I'm pretty sure it was something like Mr. Blue Eyes. Talk to me. Well, V, Mikoshi was quite the punch. You TKO'd Arasaka, in fact. Brought you eddies, influence around town. But not just that. It meant positive paralysis of Arasaka systems. A few additional hatches opened up. My people rushed in, grabbed what they could. So it's all systems go for the op. I have confirmed the intel leaking out of Arasaka. The casino is currently testing a new security system. And it's true. They will be shutting it down briefly today. I believe you'll know how to use that moment. Having second thoughts? Hope that doesn't mean you want to drop out. Drop out? At this stage? No. It would make no sense. I take a hit. Speaking of which, nobody's ever pulled off a stunt like this. Where I'm from, they'd say it's straight impossible. Where you're from? They'd say you're taking too big a risk. Poetically speaking, flying towards the sun to burn up. Hmm. Guess that's why you hired me. <laughs> you know why I hired you? Because you'd do anything at all for even the faintest chance at survival. Even if it meant coming to within a hair's breadth of your untimely death. This time tomorrow, should have the casino's client data. All of it. Don't forget your side of the bargain. Oh, I never forget a promise. Good luck. I'm a little bit confused about what our plan is, but I think we're probably supposed to be. Lagrangian point L1 Earth Moon. So we're taking an Arasaka shuttle to this right in position place. Perfect. Almost to the second. My turn. Hmm. Satellites are down for now. Just got the signal. Signature cloaking activated. Remember, got to one the crystal shot palace. One shot only. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. As soon as it starts, there'll be no backing down. No chance of extraction. No chance of survival if anyone notices. Excellent. But if this works. You'll gain more than you ever imagined. Times when I had something to gain are long gone. Now? Now? Yeah. Now I got nothing, nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. Cool. That's kind of grim. Then again, who am I to judge?
Is there anything we can check on here? Doesn't look like it. Exit the airlock and soar to the stars? <laughs> Removed all of our implants. I think that's a Silverhand song. I I need something here. I need a resolution. <laughs> Wait, hey, what? What's up, kid? Been a while since you came to see old Vic. I bet you're tuned that the afterlife found you a new major league ripper, huh? Them swanky downtown fuckers shooting chrome out his ass. Am I right? Ah, well, I mean it, kid. Get all you can out of this life. You deserve it. More than anyone I know. But stop by sometime, okay? Next time you're in the neighborhood. Talk about old times, and I'll take a look at you. Make sure that the new Ripper of yours didn't screw anything up. See you around, V. Hey, V. Look, this is cool how Long they're messaging no us. See. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks for everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I, I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hey, B. How are things? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's a sandstorm heading straight for us. So, yeah, you're missing out. No, oh, but seriously, we're, we're all getting by. Family never stops growing. Work's always piling up. Sometimes all I wish for is a good night's rest. But oh well, can't have everything, right, B? 
You know what I mean. Let me know when you get bored of the city. I'll take you for a nice, long ride. All right, now. Take care of me. Hello, B. Um, oh, Saul, Saul even. Heard about something big happening in Night City with a certain B in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now, but just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Alda Caldo. Remember that. Uh, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. Oh, hey. River, cool. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. This is cool when they do these little uh, callbacks to everybody that we've worked with. Before oh. Samurai committed to Seppuku, they wrote to say a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late. Some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai. So I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell. <laughs> nice. Rot in hell, he says. Hey, cool. Perales. Hey, it's Perales. B, you're going to want to hear this. But first, you need to go somewhere. No one's listening. Okay, so my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole oh, thing. Oh, okay, that's what we were she, thinking. She keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these pills. Says they're vitamins. Got them analyzed at a lab. And, and they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, 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 well you got a sec, call me, okay? Oh, oh yeah, and don't forget to delete this message. So he did figure it out. Hey V, listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long and I, well, one thing led to another. Know what I drew? Strength, the Emperor, and the world. Babe, the world's gonna hear about you. Go and show Night City what you're made of. anyone else so my interpretation of what happened here is we basically returned to the life that we had right which was a mercenary and we are now taking over the afterlife from rogue and getting involved in these jobs and this blue eyes has hired us to i guess do something to that casino like i don't know destroy it or deal from it or what have you and so it, it's just kind of us continuing that mercenary life that we started a long time ago that's my interpretation i could be completely off base there no idea but um i can think of a couple of key points near the end that might have uh had some impact on where we were where we were going with this first of all some of the conversation choices with uh hanako specifically where it was like um trusting 
Arasaka for whatever reason you would want to choose that. Um, and then at the end there where we chose uh, to basically blend Johnny with Alt, granting us access to our body again. And I presume that the other option, Johnny keeps your body? I don't know, but I'm interested to, to see what the different endings are. Uh, I kind of wish there was a, just a little bit more resolution. Um, but maybe that's just based on the choices that we made towards the end there. Uh, so let, let's talk about let's talk about the game as a whole. We've all seen it now. If you made it this far and you've seen a bunch of episodes, um, you kind of know likely what I'll say about it. Let's start with the let's start with the, some of the Sorry, some of the screensaver kicked in. <laughs> uh, so some of the some of the let's just get the negatives out of the way, right? Like the big launch issues. I I totally sympathize with people who have been looking forward to this for so long, and the game didn't necessarily run up to snuff. Um, not not showing people the console versions before allowing them to purchase it was a, I didn't that was that didn't sit very well. And I, I, you know, I hate to see a company that's had such high praise for so many years do something like that. That just like, ugh, it just feels it's a it's a feels bad, man. You know, it's really hard to get past that. Um, the consoles, from what I saw, were they it ran so poorly. You had to have like one of the newer consoles. PS5 apparently runs pretty well. Um, but that, that whole debacle is left a bit of a sour taste in my mouth. Um, on PC, like, it ran fairly well. Within the playthrough, I think I ran into maybe a handful of bugs where I had to force a reload. I would say, I would say around five times, maybe between five and 10, uh, if I want to estimate high. And that, like, to me, I don't know, it's tough to say, because anytime you have these kind of open world games, there's always bugs like that, right? There's always weird bugs, but these just set, it felt like they were everywhere. And then you go online, you go on Twitter, and it's just like bugs after bugs, and you're like, oh my god. I will say, they've put out, I think, six patches? Or no. I think when it released, it went to 1.03. Now it's on 1.06. So anyway, they have been doing updates since release, which is great. But I do feel that the perfect experience for this game will be in about six months to a year from now when everything's patched. There's probably going to be new expansions or DLC or what have you. And you're just going to have this like incredibly amazing experience. At least I hope that they continue to work on it and get it to that point. Um, because I can understand that it's not the game for everybody right now. In terms of other criticisms, like, you know, we we started getting into systems like crafting, as an example. Uh, we had all heard that there were reviewers that were like, I didn't do any crafting. It didn't add anything. And everyone's like giving them a hard time that it um, that it uh, they just didn't invest in the systems and stuff. And I can kind of understand both sides of the argument there. Because on one hand, the item that we crafted um, at one point was like some type of tech sniper rifle and it was really good for us. Um, and I was like, oh, crafting is really cool. But then you'd have to, you have to invest a bunch of your perk points into crafting. You would have to collect a lot of crafting materials and that was not easy to do. And uh, unless you were doing like just kind of repetitive um, side jobs like cleaning up those police things that seemed to be a decent source of them and i never really got to dive into that system as much as i was hoping to uh that said we eventually found that a sniper rifle that we loved uh, i can't remember if that came from crafting that grod sniper rifle we did upgrade it a few times for sure but then we eventually got the uh overwatch sniper rifle that we just cruised with until the end of the game and uh I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot left on the table in the crafting system that, that could be generally improved. The hacking stuff was really cool. Uh, that was super fun. I would like to see more ways to find uh, crafting recipes for that because you could invest in it. But I think I found maybe one and it was an upgrade to something that I had previously. 
So that whole system, I just wish there was just a little bit more. I think that would be, uh, I think that would be super cool. In terms of other stuff, like the quests were all individually what you would expect from CD Projekt Red. Like even the early gig where we had that, um, that guy who was basically producing like snuff BDs, that was, that hit me really hard. I was like, this is intense. And if you took the quests individually and you looked at the storylines associated with um, gigs and side jobs individually, they were pretty strong. And of the caliber that you would see in like The Witcher 3, right? We're like, oh, that took a dark turn. I didn't see that coming, right? But what it, what it didn't really hit there, in my opinion, uh, is it didn't hit the the choice factor that you felt in like in The Witcher games that you kind of come to expect from CD Projekt Red. And what I mean by that is you, if you have a choice to make in these uh, missions, you don't see the ramifications of that generally as you go. There were a couple like references, but I don't, as far as I can tell, nothing super game changing. I don't know all of the factors that played into the endings, but certainly you can see some specific dialogue choices at the end that you're like, oh, I see this, this will go towards something like this, or this will go towards uh, something like this, but nothing that was coming back from the early game or earlier in the game that was impacting any of this uh, stuff long term. There were some relationship aspects for sure, like Pan Am, that obviously influenced a couple of things, gave us a few options of ways to handle uh, different objectives. I imagine at the end there, doing that, that final mission with Pan Am maybe makes that whole ending completely different. And like, we would if we wouldn't have invested all the time in Pan Am previously, might not have gotten that. So that's cool. If that, if that is in fact a way that it works. Um, there was Judy's relationship. There was the relationship that we built with Carrie near the end there that I thought was pretty cool. Became pretty tight. Um, even Takamura. Like, this is one of the things that I really liked. All of these characters were very, very, very good characters. Uh, and very memorable, very unique. Even Rogue, who initially was like, oh, what a... <laughs> What a B. She ended up, I really, really enjoyed working with her. And uh, that final sequence with her and um, and Johnny, that was awesome. I, I thought that was super cool. Uh, the other stuff I, I really liked is just the variety in which you could approach missions. So early on, we definitely noticed a few areas where like, man, if we could like jump a bit higher, that would be cool. We could get into more stuff. And so we saved up for those jump legs and that was like, that was massive. But you could try a lot of ways, just like going in through the doors, finding access cards. Um, and you, there seemed like there were a lot of different ways to do things. I think the average, I would say on average, if I had to guess, like, I mean, over 50% of people probably just go in like guns blazing, kill whatever, pick up the objective, leave, whatever, not, not a big deal. I've always found that when you approach things from a, a stealth perspective, it ups the challenge a little bit, it ups the immersion a little bit, and it forces you to kind of think outside the box just a little bit more than going guns blazing. And you still have that fallback option, which we obviously used a few times, uh, where things go wrong, we get detected, and hey, we're fighting. And that was fun too, because then you're fighting your way out of this uh, clean situation that has turned messy. And so those different avenues really reminded me of one of my favorite games, Deus Ex Human Revolution. And so uh, that was a really big highlight in my opinion. I liked a lot of the cosmetic options that they showed us as well. Just the way that the city looked, the way that it felt, like in my opinion, it felt alive. It felt quite populated. Maybe not as much as they were showing when the game was being heavily advertised a few years ago at like E3s and stuff like that. Uh, but every area felt very cool, very different. You're in Pacifica versus like downtown Night City. Like you're in two totally different worlds. You go out into the Badlands and it's what you would imagine, right? Um, I thought they nailed that aspect. All of the gangs that existed in each of those areas, that was pretty cool. But 
they all kind of felt the same. All the gangs were like, you know, just basic goons, right? Um, the voodoo club, maybe they hack a little bit more or whatever, but I certainly think there's an opportunity to improve on, on the whole gang aspect. There were a couple situations where like, I think it was Tiger Claws. We had just killed like, I don't know, 50 of them or something. And then I believe it was Wakako asking us to do jobs for the Tiger Claws. And then we were just like interacting with them. Like we didn't just slaughter a bunch of their gang. And I think there's some weird circumstances where you need to suspend a little bit of disbelief in order to just accept it and, and follow the path of the game. Uh, speaking of the path of the game, the overall like narrative and story, I enjoyed, I enjoyed it. I'd say like, if I had to put a number on it, I would say eight out of 10. I don't feel like there were a ton of, I don't feel like there were a ton of mind blowing twists and turns, which for me, like, I'm not saying that's the only way to, to, to judge a, a narrative or a story, but with something as complex as this, you could definitely expect that things would go differently than you think a lot more. And I just think there was an opportunity to kind of up that level of anticipation and twists and turns that would make people feel a little bit more satisfied. There were a few times throughout the story where I'm like, it was asking us to do something on main quests. It, specifically, when we started getting into alt, I was like, who is this? Like, did we miss a thing? Like, who, like, what's going on? And eventually I did learn uh, through talking to people outside of the game that alt is like a big, she's very popular in the Cyberpunk 2077 uh, universe. Um, but in the game, they we barely heard about it. I think we heard about her one time before we were trying to make contact or something, and it just felt a little bit out of place. And there, there's just been a few main story elements where I'm like, I'm not sure why we're doing this exactly, but I'll follow it along and we'll get there. Even that last thing where I think we're going up to just do like, that's our, that's our one final job. We're gonna go up and do some type of job at this space station. Um, it wasn't necessarily articulated very clearly that that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're the fixer, the guy's hiring us, that's fine. But it just kind of felt like, oh, okay, that's, that's, what we're, that's what we're doing and that's the end. And maybe that's just because of the choices that I had made and the, the ending that we have. Um, but there were a few things where you had to just be like, yeah, okay, I'll just follow the game and it'll, it'll kind of instruct me. But yeah, it, what I really enjoyed was each of the specific character stories that we ran into. So following Judy's through from the beginning to end where she takes us into that little, uh, city that had been sunk. That was really cool. Um, river, that quest was seemingly out of nowhere. And then boom, we developed this full relationship with the guy and we even got a good buy message at the end. The paralysis was really cool. I thought that was um, a fun little uh, quest line. Everything with Takamura ended up turning into something that I really enjoyed. I, I liked him. He was like a dad. It was kind of cool. Um, the co-carnage quest that turned out to the, like that Alpha Centauri stuff. That was really funny how that all went down and then he disappeared, like great twist. Um, yeah, I mean, I could recall a bunch of those and I think for me, that's where the game is the strongest. This, this is a game that truly is more about the journey than the destination. And I enjoyed the journey a lot. I really had a, I really had a good time in here. Uh, if you can suspend the bugs, you know, just because I felt like the world was so unique and so different, something I've never really um, experienced to this level. The closest example for me personally would be uh, Human Revolution. And that game, I mean, it definitely had a good like world setting and uh, world building aspect, but they nailed it here. Like everywhere you look, just the overwhelming amount of like advertisements and body transformations and drugs and guns and power, like unreal, like just everywhere, everywhere you looked. And like, that was, I was super, super impressive in my opinion. 
Um, there's not much else I can say, I don't think. I, I feel like you guys probably understand most of the points. Uh, at least most of where I'm coming from. If you watch the series, because you saw all of my reactions to everything that happened, good and bad. Um, generally, when I'm playing a game like this, I, I tend not to talk about, like... Uh, mechanics or uh, game design stuff like here and there I will but I tend not to I tend to just kind of I don't know I tend to in, get into the role of the character and I feel anytime I'm talking about like oh this menu system could be improved blah blah it kind of takes you out of that a little bit and when I'm watching people play games I actually like when people kind of embody the character instead of just like uh well i could uh i could min max this uh sniper rifle and get these bullets going and stuff and like you do have to do that a bit but um that's probably why if you're watching and you're thinking like i don't criticize a whole lot while i'm playing it's because it just takes me out of it and i'd rather just enjoy the the uh progress you know hope that makes sense anyways uh i don't know how much longer is left on these credits here but I am curious to see if there's some post-game stuff. Now, I imagine uh, there's going to be comments that are saying, hey, uh, will you go back and do the other endings to see what's going on? Uh, I might. I might. I don't know if I would do that as pre-recorded videos or maybe we'll do a live stream where we look at that kind of stuff because it can all be kind of chill. Uh, and you guys can give me suggestions on different options to make. Uh, or I could just like read the wikis, I guess, and figure out what options to choose to see specific endings. Or I could just look them up. Um, which most people that want to see the alternate endings have probably already done. <laughs> so I don't know if it adds a lot of uh, value there. But I am curious to see if there's any like post credits missions. Because. I know we'll be able to go back into the city and do stuff, but it almost feels weird with, with the ending that we had where we're going off into space. Like, I don't know if that will be addressed, if it's just like, that just happened and now we're cruising around Night City, I, I don't know. I don't know if we got to be able to take over Afterlife because rogue died and based on the selections that we made or because we like maxed out our street cred and we're like a super well-known uh mercenary now i don't like there's all these different factors i would like to kind of research and figure out what happened there but who knows anyways i'm gonna play this out to the end here and let's see if there's something that happens thank you for playing Congrats, you've completed the main storyline of Cyberpunk 2077, but remember that Night City never sleeps. There's still so much to see and do. You can continue from your last open world checkpoint where you will have a special reward waiting for you. Would you like to keep playing? <laughs> cool, just one more gig. Let's see it. Whoa. Congrats. You've completed the main storyline. You'll find special rewards waiting for you in your inventory. Note if any of the rewards you earned are cyberware, you'll have to visit a ripper dock to use them instead. Oh, it brings us right back to the point of no return. What does it give us? I imagine a weapon. Uh, Pride? Oh, the Pride of Rogue. Increases crit chance and headshot damage. Small chance to apply stun. Okay, so we got Rogue's weapon. I don't think any of these are special. That Caretaker's thing we picked up. I guess we picked up Rogue's thing too. Sorting by new, this doesn't really help. There's these jumpsuits, I guess. They might be new. Uh, Purple Dragon Neo Kitch Muscle Tank. Honestly, I have no idea if these are new or not. Johnny stuff. Bitch Armored Ice Protected Tech Gogs. Pretty sure we had those before. 
Nothing new there. Creamy rhubarb dress shoes with soul support. <laughs> I don't know. What do we have in here? Oh, system reset legendary. That's cool. Maybe that is something that was added for us. I'm not sure what else. Now, I wonder, like... So this is not... Okay, so this is how they get around the whole, like, we're going to continue, like, Night City Never Sleeps. It's not after the point of what we saw at the end. This is just... You can spend time in here and then again maybe go through and try some of the different endings or what have you. I think that's all there is. If there's more to this that I'm, like, missing, feel free to point it out and I might check it out, but... I think it looks like we're done. It looks like we're done unless we wanted to do these extra um, gigs and stuff. So anyways, thank you guys all for watching. I really appreciate the support in the series. Um, if you have suggestions for what you'd like to see me play next, then uh, let me know. I'm kind of getting the itch to play some strategy games again. It's been a while. Not a lot is releasing until uh, the end of January with, uh, I think it's Bloober Team putting out a game called Medium. That looks really great. And uh, between now and then, I'm not sure what we're going to do, but we'll come up with something. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.